What's up? What's up? So, in today's episode, we're going to be talking about the judgment zone and how I had to put myself in the no judgment zone mentally. This is episode number 19. It's my 365 day challenge and it is a video podcast. So it's Saturday right now and I just woke up on the couch at seven o'clock and realized that, wow, I was supposed to do this morning routine. Luckily, my boys were still asleep. Uh, I got 15 minutes in on the treadmill. I got plenty of minutes in on the uh, time with myself, uh, creating gratitude. One of the things that I remembered though from, from the thing that I was supposed to be doing was this breathing uh, sequence. And I'll go into that more in another episode because that's something that I think I should share as a whole. It's pretty cool stuff that they did a research study. Anyways, so I'm doing this and it's 7.40 right now in the morning and I'm out in my truck, it's 35 degrees. I found that the my truck is the best place to record because it's got the Bluetooth mic and uh, I got a thing on my dash that holds my camera and um, it works pretty well. The only thing that I will say is recording at 7.40 in the morning is a weird time because my wife just called in and completely killed my first video that I had five minutes already recorded on and my, my son came and joined me for a minute but um, it's cold out here, so he went back inside. So anyways, so she killed the video. He came and didn't really kill it, but he was in it for a minute, but now we're doing a new one. So I put the phone on airplane mode. By the way, if you're gonna video during the day and you don't wanna be interrupted, you might wanna put it on airplane mode, right? So let's talk about the no judgment zone or judgment in general. So one of the things that I had to even I was aware of and a lot of things that were holding me back was judgment from other people from doing what I'm doing so I have my job and I'm trying to do this stuff on the side I'm trying to grow on the side and it doesn't have anything to do with my job and I feel like I I had a lot of attachments holding me back you know like especially when you come home from an event and you start this crazy thing and your wife's you know you, you, you're wondering what your wife's thinking and then, you know, there's all these people at work, not all these people at work, but there's a couple, there's, there's, there's one person in general that, you know, I've been talking to a lot about the stuff that I'm doing. And he's like, he's like, but what about, you know, what would they say about this? I'm like, I'm like, dude, why would you even worry about what anybody says? Like you're on this completely different path from them. They don't even know what you're really doing. Like, how can they, how can their judgment even affect you? Right? As long as you know where you're going, and you know why you're going there, why would judgment even affect what you're doing? And, 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 I, and I, I know a lot of people have problems with this because I personally had problems with this and I still kind of do, like there's still that little voice in your head that says, oh, oh, but you know what? I just turn him down and I just keep pushing forward because judgment really doesn't affect me. Like I don't, I really don't care. I mean, I want people to watch this, but at the same time, I don't really care what, you know, what they say about me or whatever because in the long run, like I'm getting better. I'm doing something to get better. And if you're judging me and you're saying something bad about me or whatever, then all you're doing is running in that little negativity pool while I'm moving forward and trying to go positive, right? So why should that even matter? Negativity is really, I mean, judgment is really, it's really nothing. And even, so I'm doing this, um, this energy uh, diet thing or whatever, alkaline energy challenge, and I am losing crazy weight, not crazy weight, but I'm losing good weight, uh, almost a pound a day or if not a little more. It's got me moving into this whole workout thing, and the first thing that I did on that was I took a picture of myself uh, forward and sideways with no shirt on, and I'm telling you right now, I am not proud of that picture, but in 30 days, I will be proud of that picture because I took myself from here all the way over to here and I've already lost the belt size um, losing the weight I'm not unhappy with what I'm eating I'm eating great I feel great the food is great like it is just awesome and I talk to other people about that and they're like oh I don't think I can do that I don't but you know what I didn't think I could do it either a month ago and then I started on this momentum kick and now here I am doing it so but that whole taking that whole picture I didn't take that picture for me I took that picture for the people that I'm going to help after 30 days of doing this. And I promise you, there will be people that do this. I took that picture for them. There's, I had to let go of the judgment even from myself on that versus uh, much less the people that are going to judge me on the picture. So judgment is definitely something that affects us all. And there's no doubt about it. 
And when you can realize that what you're doing is on a higher level and what you're doing is going to help people on a different level, then you start to let go of all that judgment and keep pushing on forward. So I thought that was a really cool, the guy at work, you know, he was talking about doing some stuff and he's like, what about, you know, what are the people, whatever I said, I said, you know what? Not everybody is going to always agree with what you say, but it's not about that. It's about you knowing that you are already enough. You already have enough. And he's like, what if I'm not good enough? Well, you might not be good enough yet, but you are good enough. Like, that's another thing that held me back. What if I'm not good enough to do this podcast? What if I'm not good enough to set out on the path that I set on? Well, yeah, I'm not good enough. Who cares? Everybody has to start at zero. So you are good enough, right? You are good enough to do what your mind says that you want to do or what you set out to do. And you know why? Because you got help from above, I promise you. If you seriously make a decision to set out on a path to go do something, then you're going to have help from above, but you got to pay attention because it comes, it'll come by you in different things. These little things will come by you. I promise you just know that you're good enough. Know that you already have everything that it takes. You're already equipped and empowered to do whatever you, whatever it is you want to do in life. And another thing that I want to talk about too, real quick before we end this life is short. Life is really short. Okay. I mean, really short. There was this dude that created an ad that I seen yesterday. It was like, I don't know. It was like something like he, he, he broke it down to how, how, that how many days the average person lives and how many hours the actual person has in life. And it's really short. And for some people it's shorter than others, but knowing that this life is short, If you're doing something in a job or whatever, and you're really like, it's not really like fulfilling you because that was my problem. It's no fulfillment. You know, where's the fulfillment at? Right. And I'm not saying that, you know, you got to go quit your job or whatever, but at the same time, here's my point. Try to find stuff that is fulfilling to you. If you're not happy first, happiness comes from within, right? I mean, you can't get happiness from stuff outside. Happiness comes from within. Happiness is fulfillment. So find out what is fulfilling to you, okay? And build on that and just start building that part of your life because happiness comes from within. Be happy. Life's too short to be unhappy, right? The moment that you start you start focusing on the good stuff and get off of the bad stuff is the moment that your life is going to turn around and change. So I can definitely be a, a testament to that because that's what's happening to me right now. Life, I'm looking through life through a whole another lens and it's just because I changed the way I look at things. You know, and I'm, I'm, I'm focused on a more happier path now than I was before. I didn't really have the right path before, but I've discovered my path and you know, life purpose. What, what is your life purpose? My life purpose, I'm, I'm not, I haven't quite figured it all yet out yet, but I'm working on it. And you know, if, if I figured out my life purpose when I was in my twenties, man, I could just imagine where I'd be right now. Cause it'd be a whole nother, it'd be a whole nother deal, but I'm happy to be where I'm at. I'm happy to be here sharing with you. And, uh, I appreciate you listening. I appreciate you you know, being here every day. I appreciate you subscribing. I appreciate you hitting the like button. I appreciate all the comments. It's an awesome thing. Thanks for watching. Until tomorrow's episode, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.